Hello, this is Yulia and welcome to my channel. It's been a while since I've made a video about learning languages, so here it is. Today we're talking about 20 idioms to use in your day life, in your English exams. If you want to speak like a native, then keep on watching. If you're new to this channel or it's the first video you ever watch about idioms, what are idioms? Idioms are basically phrases or expressions that cannot be translated literally. Basically, it's a figurative meaning attached to a phrase or an expression. Idioms are very important because they're used by natives all the time. If you're planning to score seven or higher on your IELTS exam, well, I have some news for you. You'll need to use idioms, but please make sure not to overuse them because then it's gonna make no sense at all. The first idiom I have is to do something by the book. To do something by the book simply means that you need to follow strict rules in order to do something. For example, my boss insists on doing everything by the book. So basically your boss has a checklist or a set of rules and he wants you to do everything by the book, meaning following all the guidelines that he has. By the book, sir. Getting a hand of something. This means to learn to do something, especially when it's not super simple and obvious. For example, I'll teach you how to use Photoshop. You'll get a hand of it after some time. Meaning Photoshop is not an easy software to use, but after a few tries, you'll get a hand of it and you'll know how to use it. You get the hang of it. The next phrase you can use when you want to describe someone who's intelligent, who can make the right decisions and it's to have a good head on the shoulders for example we can depend on george he has a good head on the shoulders meaning he's intelligent he has something in here and he can help us with the right decisions she seemed to have a pretty good head on her shoulders the next phrase you've probably heard so many times to cost an arm and a leg meaning it's super expensive for example, Tesla is a very nice looking car, but unfortunately it costs an arm and a leg, meaning it's super expensive, I cannot afford it. And it won't cost you an arm and a leg. <laughs> a drop in the ocean. A drop in the ocean means that it's just the tiny part of something bigger. For example, we need to raise thousands of dollars for the project. So our 20 bucks is just a drop in the ocean. How's that for Japanese efficiency? Just a drop in the ocean. To go an extra mile. This means to do something much more than required. For example, when you do your homework, you can go an extra mile to show the teachers that you're interested in the subject. Or Jessica will always go an extra mile to help a friend, meaning she will do basically anything to help her friend. I mean, I'm not gonna go the extra mile unless... To get out of hand. This means to lose control when everything is out of control, that's when you say things got out of hand. For example, the debate got out of hand and people started yelling at each other. Meaning, that was a mess, not a debate. Things won't be able to get out of hand. The next phrase will be useful in any of your English exams and it's to cross somebody's mind. Meaning, think or have a thought, have an idea. Anna is not responding to my texts. It never crossed my mind that she might be busy today. That means I had no idea she might be working today. It did cross my mind. The next phrase is my favorite one and I use it all the time and it's when pigs fly, meaning never. So Montreal roads are gonna be renovated when pigs fly. If you've been to Montreal, you've seen the roads. Yeah, wait for those pigs to fly. Oh, when pigs fly? Spill the beans means to reveal a secret. For example, we'll be there at six for a secret party, but please don't spill the beans. Meaning don't tell the birthday guy that there's gonna be a secret party, all right? Spill the beans! Yeah. The next phrase I've heard so many times when I moved to Canada and I was like, what is this? To take a rain check. I was like, do I need to check if there is rain? But, but it's not raining, my friend, there is no rain. The phrase simply means to reschedule. Do you mind if I take a rain check on that date? I really need to work tonight. Meaning, is it okay if we reschedule the date? I really need to work tonight. Mm. I'll take a rain check. 
Another interesting phrase is a game changer. A game changer is something that really changes the game, meaning situation, area, business, whatsoever. The invention of the steam engine was a game changer in the transportation and mining industries. Game changer means it literally changed everything. Well, game changer. The next phrase is common ground. I thought we finally had some common ground. If you have a common ground with someone, that means you have something in common, an interest or maybe like a hobby. I can say I have some common ground with you guys. We both like Miss Yulia's videos. That's your sign to like this video if you enjoy watching it. Moving on to the next phrase. And the next phrase is to miss a point, meaning to not understand the idea, the meaning of something. For example, when I post videos about disadvantages of Portugal, of Canada, people miss the point. It's not to insult, it's to educate people that there are some disadvantages. That's how you miss the point. You miss the point. And when those haters comment under my videos, I literally bite my tongue, which means I really want to say some things. And I'm like, biting my tongue not to. An example would be, I really wanted to tell them what I think of them, but I had to bite my tongue. Well, bite my tongue. <laughs> We're almost there, guys, four idioms left. The next one is to bring something to the table. And it doesn't mean you come to a party, you bring Olivier, Borsch. No, that means to bring some benefit to the table, to like a business, to a company whatsoever. For example, we should hire Miss Yulia. She can bring a lot to the table, meaning hiring Miss Yulia might benefit the company and the business. That's what you'll bring to the table. Make someone's blood boil means to be very angry. When I hear stories of cruelty to animals, that makes my blood boil. I hate it. But what makes my blood boil? At all costs. At all costs mean to do anything to achieve your goals. For example, my dream is to be an actress and I will work hard for it at all costs. At all costs. Off the top of my head, meaning without thinking. Hey, what's the capital of Romania? I don't know off the top of my head, but I can Google that for you. Off the top of my head, uh... And the last phrase is in a nutshell, meaning briefly given just the main points. For example, hey, Yulia, what went wrong? Well, in a nutshell, pretty much everything. In a nutshell. And this is it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, don't forget to like, share, comment. You know what's up. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye.